What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video or tonight's video because it is quite late right now it is currently I don't even think you can see the time on here but it's currently 9 24 p.m. and I'm packing so this video is gonna be a little bit different it's not a vlog obviously it's not a tutorial I just wanted to film like a pack with me kind of video showing you guys what I'm packing for my trip I am leaving to go to Bali tomorrow morning me being the organized the somewhat organized self that I'd like to be I thought that I would be done with packing by now but what happened was today I felt really sick I had a really bad headache I don't know what it was I don't know if it was the heat it's really hot over here at the moment so basically all I did today was just rest and like nap all day I'm not even kidding that's all I did I realize I look like such a mess right now but this is very impromptu I don't really know how I'm going to film this I just wanted to film a pack with me video so this is currently the state of what I have going on I pretty much just decided to throw everything that I wanted to bring into my suitcase with no rhyme or reason i'm gonna go through everything kind of narrow it down because i don't think i'd need as much stuff as what i have in there and my bed isn't made i'm just so unorganized today and i feel very uncomfortable about it but this is the current situation i feel like this suitcase is probably too big for a week-long trip i have a smaller size suitcase compared to this but it's too small i need like the in-between so i'm just gonna go with this that's fine right now i have pretty much all my clothes shoved into here i recently got this bag too i thought it was very cute very tropical looking <laughs> so i pretty much have all my clothes in here my bikinis are also thrown into here as well i gotta put those away properly i also managed to already organize my toiletries but firstly let me just let me just properly take everything out and organize it and i'll show you how i'm going to pack it all the way okay guys i fully emptied out my suitcase this is how it looks this side obviously <coughs> has this little flap that like zips up also ignore the mess that i currently have going on around me you already know but anyways um yeah this is how the luggage looks it's from this brand right here i'm just going to have this as my checked baggage and then i have just a tote that I have for my carry-on. So let me show you guys what I've already organized and packed. So this is pretty much all my clothing for the week that I think I would need. I've got a lot of like white clothing and neutrals. I'm a very neutrals kind of gal. I have some denim shorts. I also have another pair that's currently drying because I was wearing them today. Um, so I've got white, black, and also blue denim linen a lot of linen just because i feel like that's easier to wear and it's nice and cool um just some crops oh there's some color <laughs> and then like tees and other tops and stuff and some play suits so that is pretty much everything that i'm going to bring with me for the week i feel like this is already too much as it is but what i wanted to talk about were these packing cubes so i actually got these from kmart i believe they came in this set of three so there's like the bigger one the medium and the smaller one so in the bigger one i am putting my outfits like my clothes that i want to wear so i pretty much just did a combo of like folding and rolling just because i felt like that is the way it was able to fit in there and stay organized and then this medium one right here as you can see i have some socks i had to buy new no-show socks anyway so these are just literally brand new socks i have my swim wear here my bikinis and my pjs here and then this one is just going to be for my bras and underwear and that's pretty much all my clothing that i'm going to need for the week so that's how they look when they're all nice and zipped up and compact so what i'm going to do is put them oh it's so good i can literally just like lift it up as that and it's all good so i'm gonna put my clothes and stuff on the side that's open because any everything else that is kind of loose can be held into place with this so let me see if i can fit these packing cubes in here oh my gosh you guys that is so satisfying to me if you know me you know that i love tetris so this right here like this 
is very soothing to me right now. So that all fits in there perfectly. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could also lay something on top, but for now, those are my clothes all done. Can I do this one-handed? Nope. So on this side, I think I'm going to put my shoes and sandals and stuff. So I really just want to bring these, 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 and then these, my chinelas. <laughs> I don't want to leave these like laying around loose like that. So what I'm going to do is put them into a separate bag. This one right here will do. So that's pretty much my shoes. In there. Next up, I suppose I'll show you what I'm bringing for my toiletries. So I got these little containers from Kmart and I've pretty much put like my body wash, shampoo, conditioner, all that into those. So that's definitely more than enough in there. But I did want to, of course, keep them in uh, little Ziploc baggies so that if anything was to break and leak, it is somewhat contained. Also, if you're wondering, this once again was from Kmart. I feel like I've bought a lot of packing things from Kmart, like toiletry bags, those packing cubes and all that other good stuff. Just because, again, if you're from Australia, Kmart is Hop in over here. I know it's different in the US, but our Kmart is the bomb. Like I said, I have my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and all that there. I have a little mini size of my Dermalogica special cleansing gel. And of course, I have my eye cream. I also have to put my moisturizer in here, but I have to use that in the morning. I also have some makeup remover wipes from Neutrogena, my Badescu facial spray. There's a loofah in here. I can't wash myself unless I'm able to properly scrub myself down. I I don't feel clean unless I do that. And then in here is all my teeth brushing stuff. I also have to put my toothpaste in, but obviously I need to use that in the morning. These are really good if you have braces and you still want to floss your teeth. It's like floss basically, but way easier than flossing. I also have this little Listerine and my toothbrush. So that's pretty much it for my toiletries. I also forgot I have this um, suntan oil. Oh, I have another toiletries bag actually. Hold on one moment. Call me extra, but yeah, I'm gonna bring this other one as well. This is gonna have like random bits and pieces and my hair stuff. I'm gonna put my hairbrush and comb in here. But I just also have, like I said, my suntan oil, some after sun aloe vera mist spray this stuff is amazing you guys know that i rave on and on about using volumizing dry shampoo for my hair but since i didn't want to bring a big aerosol can even if it is in my checked baggage this is like a compact alternative that essentially does the same thing and some moroccan oil because i like to put this in my hair especially if i know i'm going to the beach or like out in the sun for a long time my hair gets super dehydrated and dry on the ends so i just want to make sure that i have everything that I need for that. So that is my other toilet cheese bag. <sighs> okay, you guys, I look like an absolute mess right now. The bags under my eyes are too real, but I think I've officially finished packing. It is now 12.42 a.m. You probably can't even see the time. There we go. 12.42 a.m. Sunday, the 20th of January. So it's officially the day that I leave. I'm breaking out. I put pretty much everything into my suitcase just so that I could measure it, measure it, weigh it to make sure that I was under the limit. I have one of these things, where is it? It's like an electronic digital luggage scale just to make sure that I'm under the limit. My limit for my checked baggage is 23 kilos. I died because I weighed it, like I put this on and I lifted the bag and the numbers started coming up and it said 31. And I was like, how the hell? is this 31 kilos like how and then i realized that it was in pounds <laughs> but yeah i pretty much have everything i need so i'm gonna go through and show you what i've packed i guess as you'd have seen earlier i packed my clothes into this side i'm gonna keep my um tripod in my checked baggage because to be honest i don't think i'm gonna be whipping this out and walking around vlogging obnoxiously with this in the airport and on the plane so that's fine to just go in there I have my clothes baby wipes i just need baby wipes in this little pouch thing 
I'm just throwing in all my electronic things. So my chargers, actually I need this one right now so that I can charge this camera when I go to sleep. So I've got my chargers, another iPhone charger. I'm gonna bring one in my carry-on as well. And then of course travel adapters, that kind of thing. So that is what is going into here. And then in this little thing, I didn't know what I was gonna put in here, but I have my straightener and these things. I need these because I always get blisters on the back of my heel. And then in this side, I have other things that I want to bring. In here are all my shoes. And then these, oh my gosh, this makes me realize how extra I am because these, these are all like my toiletries, makeup, and more like extra toiletries. For my makeup, I'm sure some of you guys are curious as to what makeup I'd bring with me. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to wear much makeup while I'm there, but just in case. <laughs> so this is what I'm bringing with me. I have all of my brushes underneath, which isn't like, I guess, the greatest of storage. But now, that's there. And then I just have literally all my, pretty much all my daily makeup products. So primer, my foundation, the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation, my color corrector, something for my brows, bronzer, powder to set my concealer, all that stuff, lipsticks. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to use these as much as I think I would, but you know, I'm one of those people that just likes to bring it just in case. I love that I'm able to go Tetris with this whole packing thing and just like make sure that everything fits in there nicely. So that's everything packed and ready to go. I already have my outfit that I'm going to wear in the morning to the airport over there so I don't have to worry about that. I also forgot to show you what's in my carry-on. This is just a little tote that I had from, I think this is from H&M. I don't know why, but I always feel like if I don't bring one of these on a flight with me, no matter how long the flight is, even if I'm just like flying down to Sydney or Melbourne or something, I'm, I'm always wishing that I had one of these with me all the times that I would forget. And then I, of course, have my laptop. This is just a little case that I carry with me in my everyday bag regardless. And in here, I just keep like random essentials. I've got like gum, tampons, hair ties, lip balm, lipstick, that kind of thing. I have my laptop charger down the bottom there. Some Dettol sanitary antibacterial wipes. And then I have my passport and my wallet. So yeah, that is pretty much everything, you guys. So there we have it, you guys. I am done. I look like a mess. Like I'm ready to go and wash this face off, wash my hair, shower, and go and take a nap. <laughs> I honestly hadn't intended to leave packing till the night before, but here we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I don't know about you guys, but there's something so satisfying in watching like organization and people pack things. It just is very soothing to my soul. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below so I can chat to you guys. Also, if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. Hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. Also, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to vlog at least part of my trip. I don't know how much vlogging I would do, but we'll see how that goes. So with that being said, I will talk to you in the comments. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll see you all in my next video. And place to come through. Place to come through. Send me location is right. My patience, cause I don't need.